Hey guys, what's up? Tech Flash here. So, Huawei, the Chinese company which has been struggling ever since the United States imposed several sanctions, managed to launch a flagship smartphone earlier this year in the form of the Huawei P50 series. Now, the Mate 50 series, which is Huawei's major flagship phone, is the big milestone that Huawei has to overcome. Looking at the Huawei P50 series, which arrived about six months late, it was pretty much expected that the upcoming Mate 50 series will also expect some delays. And I think it's pretty clear that the reason for the delays is Huawei's struggle with its supply chain due to the ban by the US. The Mate 50 Pro was supposed to be launched at the third quarter of 2021 as it was rumored by many reporters, but so far we haven't seen anything. However, the expectations are that this series will launch in the first quarter of next year. A recent report claimed that the Huawei Mate 50 series has made a major breakthrough in its supply chain. The Post also claimed that this flagship series will arrive according to schedule, but if it was going to be launched it was going to be in October, which already passed. It is pretty clear now that the flagship will most likely get launched within the first quarter of 2022. Furthermore, a few days ago, Artmaster Hoi Indy released the latest renderings of the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. These renders show that the front of the device is similar to the Huawei P50 Pro. It comes with a curved display as well as a center punch hole camera. As expected, the rear is more unique and exquisite than the front. The Huawei Mate 50 Pro continues the circular camera model module outline design. Within the module, it has a dual circular camera casing similar to the P50 Pro. The camera casing on top contains three sensors, while the one on the bottom contains a camera sensor, an LED flash, and a square, probably zoom camera. The renders also show the phone has a Harmony OS powered home screen featuring a P50 Pro wallpaper, and it also shows speaker grills on the top alongside a secondary microphone. The left side has a power button as well as a volume rocker. Meanwhile, the bottom side can consists of another speaker grill as well as a USB-C type port and the SIM card slot which will support up to two SIM cards. Judging from the camera render, we have reason to believe that the Huawei Mate 50 Pro will retain the free form super wide angle lens, but it is unknown whether Leica will participate. According to speculation so far, the Huawei Mate 50 series will use a LTPO display uh, similar to what the iPhone 13 has been using. Furthermore, this display will support the adaptive refresh rate, which not only achieves a 120Hz high refresh rate, but also saves power when a high refresh rate is not needed. On the battery side of things, a 4500 mAh battery is reported on the Mate 50 Pro, which is more than enough. In addition to the rumored 4G Qualcomm chip, this device may also have the Kirin 9000 version that will also support 5G connectivity. If Huawei is able to provide 5G on the Mate 50 Pro, it may as well be a game changer for them. Looking at the Qualcomm chip, the Mate 50 Pro is reported to come with the Snapdragon 898, which is a flagship processor that uses Samsung's 4 nanometer manufacturing process. And on Antutu, this chip is expected to most likely exceed 1 million for the first time. Another interesting fact which may take the Mate 50 Pro to another level is the operating system. According to rumors, the flagship will ship with Android 11 instead of Huawei's own Harmony OS, which could be a game changer as well. Pairing that with the 5G chip, this phone may as well be the one that brings Huawei back on track after the recent obstacles that had been thrown at them due to the sanctions. Nevertheless, this is turning out to be an amazing phone and I can't wait to see what Huawei has in store. And guys, that is pretty much it for the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. Stay tuned for more because you never know, we may see a last minute release of this device. A lot of rumors are still saying that we may actually see it uh, released in the coming months, maybe within this month or the next because that's all we have for 2021. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know if you are excited or looking forward to the Mate 50 series down in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.